Sarah, Ben, good afternoon, everyone. Happy weekend. And behind us here at the Alderman Dow Scrapyard on Chapel Street, you never would have known what was billowing up into the sky at about noontime very strongly for about an hour today. This Chapel Street scrapyard collects various types of light metals, such as washers, dryers, refrigerators, and even old vehicles. So if there's any leftover fluids that are, that are in the tanks, any leftover oil that's in the engines, that could be possible in the sources. It could be various, various sources. Friction should be one, he could be another. Friction, meaning metal being dragged across the concrete that perhaps results in a spark, more likely in these dry conditions. The best, the first approach is to try to cool it down. You know, this metal is hot. You want to cool as much as you can. And then once you cool it down enough, you got to start to get in there and dig it out. The New Haven Fire Department responds to an average of about 25 fire calls per month. And few are more challenging to investigate than scrapyard fires. Uh, you have tons of metal debris. You have uh, sharp items. You have hot spots where that metal is still somewhat warm. This scrapyard very close to I-95, but today the wind was blowing the opposite way. Well, the wind is certainly helping here. The emergency operations director said he remembers a fire in the past where the wind took the thick smoke over the highway and they had to shut it down. Uh, no one, no one's injured, no one's displaced, and we'll and hopefully they wrap it up and get out of here soon. And the firefighters did get out of here about uh, a half an hour ago. They opened Chapel Street and East Street, so you should have no travel troubles here in the Fairhaven section of the city. Uh, we did reach out to the owner of the Alderman Dow Scrapyard, declined comment as to how this possibly could have happened. And firefighters say they have been here before for fires. We're live in New Haven, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.